All right, well here we are, the General Blue Saga in Dragon Ball. Last time we saw our hero Goku was his defeat of Muscle Tower, and he and Bulma setting out on another adventure for him to find the Four Star Ball. Not really a heck of a whole lot happens in the very first episode. I mean, the most important takeaway from it is the introduction to General Blue of the Red Ribbon Army. He's essentially the leader of the Red Ribbon Army's kind of navy-ish marine squadron. At the beginning of the saga, he's not really that likable, in my opinion. But as it goes on, he kind of grows on you, and I actually really like his character. Bulma and Goku track down where the Four Star Ball's location is, and determine that it is at the bottom of the ocean. But alas, they don't have a vehicle capable of deep sea exploration. Of which forces them to seek out Master Roshi in order to try and find an underwater vehicle. They arrive at Roshi's Island at what isn't particularly a good time for Roshi. After some haggling, Master Roshi decides to give a submarine to Bulma and Goku, but not without Bulma's shrinking device. Of which, of course, Master Roshi only has the best intentions with using that device. <laughs> Krillin decides to join Bulma and Goku on their undersea expedition. But General Blue decides to split his forces in half, half of his force joining him and following Goku down in the depths of the ocean, and the other half is to head to the island and retrieve the two Dragon Balls from Master Roshi. General Blue commences an attack on our hero submarine, forcing them into a cave, exiting their vehicle, and fleeing. The leader of the other squad sent to Roshi's Island is a rotund lieutenant who gets chewed out by General Blue for his rotund rotundness. That's a word. Master Roshi dispatches with his squad quite easily and with a bit of flair. While stuck and searching the caves down below, they learn that the cave was previously inhabited by someone else, finding still operating electricity and booby traps laid all throughout the cave. General Blue soldiers also find this out the hard way. The gang stumbles onto a long forgotten pirate base and are met with a pirate robot, undoubtedly left there to defend some sort of treasure that resides in the base. The pirate robot gives them a tough fight, which basically fills in an entire episode. But of course, Goku eventually prevails by Superman punching him into oblivion. Goku, while battling the pirate robot, gets separated from the group. No thanks to General Blue. Bulma and Krillin, after a short swim, eventually make it to the pirate's treasure, but are intercepted by General Blue. This is one of the funnier scenes, I think, in the entire saga. Seeing Bulma get shot down due to General Blue's non-female preference is pretty hilarious, and he also kind of freaks out after Krillin draws some blood on him. General Blue has the upper hand on Krillin, and before him being able to kill him, Goku shows up and sets everything straight. After an eye poke and a quick knockout, Goku, Bulma, and Krillin make way for their sub, and narrowly make their way out of the caves before everything comes down around them. With Dragon Ball in hand, the group makes their way back to Master Roshi's Island. This episode, deemed Penguin Village, might be my least favorite of the whole saga. The episode sees Goku and the gang celebrating their win back at Roshi's Island, but once again, everything is interrupted by General Blue, 
who somehow survives the cave collapse? The way General Blue is somehow able to use magic powers on the ropes, and for the ropes to successfully secure everyone in place, most notably Master Roshi. I don't know, I'd like to think if Master Roshi just did this, he'd easily be able to get out of the situation. General Blue takes the Dragon Balls within their possession and takes off. Lucky enough for our heroes, Launch comes back home, unties Goku giving him time to get rid of a bomb that General Blue left for them, and makes haste after General Blue. Goku catches up to General Blue with his flying Nimbus. But the general, due to not paying attention, flies into a cliff. These last two episodes of the saga, episode 56, Strange Visitor, and episode 57, Arale vs. Blue, are definitely my two favorite episodes of the General Blue saga. Mainly because Akira Toriyama just decided to throw his entire world from his first anime that he created, Dr. Slump, into these last two episodes. And honestly, in my opinion, the Penguin Village and all of its inhabitants fit really well into Dragon Ball. With characters like the Gachins, Arale, and my favorite, Sour Man. With the bite of a sour prune, I become... Sour Man! Incredibly strong and regular! In surprising fashion, Arale ends up being the one to defeat General Blue, drop kicking him into another continent, basically. Goku then gathers up the Dragon Balls, gets his Dragon Radar fixed, and sets back out on his journey for the Four Star Ball. These last two episodes unequivocally rock, and without a doubt are worth waiting for through the entire saga. And that brings the General Blue Saga to a close. Overall for me, this saga is a bit of a mixed bag. It's definitely one that feels very much like a filler saga. For me personally, if you can make it through the first eight episodes. The last three or four are actually really entertaining, and it's worth it alone just to get through. Just want to say thank you so much guys for joining me on this Dragon Ball anime review. Next up is the Commander Red Saga and I am very excited for that one. I haven't watched that in a very long time so it'll be a nice refresher course for me. So anyways thank you so much guys for watching. I love you. Be safe. Chaz Man out.